All right, so I got the 64 in sealer here. So the thing is that the sealer should have been gray on this car, guys. And just so you can learn something here, uh, if you put not enough coats on here by this being black, it's going to change the color of the car. But if you if you put enough coats, it don't matter what color sealer. Now, I wanted gray sealer, but uh, I was wrong black sealer. So uh, when I went to, you know, get ready to do the car, I looked and it was the wrong sealer. So you have to go on with what you got. But the good thing is, is that I got more than enough paint to paint this and put enough coats on it where you're going to actually see the color, the true color of the car. So guys, when you paint cars, you got to know what color sealer you're using because it can change the color. But like I said, if I put enough coats of clear on, I mean, color on here, it's going to be fine. So. All right, so anyway, see here, I'm leaving that color just on there, and that's what I say. I normally use the thin tape, and I tape right across the edge here. See how I got that tape on there? See, so that way, the sealer, now I can spray a little color, a little clear, I get in there, and... Uh, It'll be just fine, guys. So now I uh, gotta. I was painting this whole lip here, so now all of this is is fine. So now I can close my doors, and now she'd be ready to shoot here, guys. She's ready to paint. Put some color on here. Finally, after all these years. The 64 is almost ready. All right, guys. A little sunshine in there. Sunlight. It's looking good. No clear on it yet. Uh, honestly, I think it's... Uh, looking pretty good here guys so looking pretty good guys yes sir all right guys so before the start drying I have to start unmasking this car but I started and I just want to show you why I did all this extra tape and see that black in there see that's the sealer so if I wouldn't have taped all of this off I would be getting black all on my <clears throat> work that I had done already so if you wanna like yeah I did a lot of masking a lot of taping on this car but this is why, guys, because if you don't go that extra step, then I got to be in here wet sanding and uh, buffing out in these door jams. And they already look good. I'm not going to wet sand and buff the door jams. But now I do have to untape this whole car because if I don't, uh, that that clear dry and then I'm in trouble guys so all right I'm gonna come in here in a little bit and show you how this car turned out but she really turned out great guys so far I ain't seen a run but we'll see <sighs> all right guys it's been a long day I started this thing at 8 this morning and it's uh 10 o'clock now 
and uh, but I got to get this thing on wrap. So I got most of the bottom on wrap, but I got to be very, very careful here in all of this that I'm doing, cause uh, <clears throat> like the door jams and stuff here, all of this stuff it's got to be took off now tonight. Because if it don't, it's going to stick, and tomorrow it will not come off once that clear dry. So I got to unwrap this baby tonight. I got the other side done. I just wanted to come in and show you here. That I have to unwrap this baby. So... Wrong a little bit. But I have to get. I'm not really worried about the top, but just where to paint it, where the clear surfaces are. I gotta get all of this tape off of here, guys. So I'm not really worried about the. <clears throat> of this car but where this car is cleared I gotta get all of this tape off of here so I just gotta come in here guys and it's gotta be done tonight otherwise once this clear dries I'm done you'll never get this uh You'll never get this tape off of here, guys, so. This has got to be, I got to find a pick, but this has got to be took off too right here, so. so I'll take my little Harbor Pre Freight pick. gotta come off of here tonight. Anywhere it's clear along the edge. So I gotta be very careful not to let this tape fall onto the clear surfaces. So. Pretty much done guys. It's a done deal. All right. <clears throat> 